we're going to factor the given polynomial expression. Whenever we have a polynomial expression with four or more terms and the number of terms is even, we should consider the technique of factor by grouping. But of course, the first step in any factoring problem is to factor out the greatest common factor. So looking at all four terms, notice how the only common factor is one, and therefore, we'll proceed to the technique of factor by grouping. Or step one is to divide or group the polynomial into two halves. So because we have four terms, the first half would be the first two terms, the second half would be the second two terms. So let's go ahead and write this as 28xy minus 45, and we'll draw a vertical bar here to divide the two halves. And then we have plus 36x minus 35y. Step two is to factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. So looking at just the first two terms, notice how the only common factor is one. Looking at the second two terms, notice how the only common factor is also just one. This does not mean the technique of factor by grouping will fail. We should now consider rearranging the terms so that the first half and the second half have common factors other than one. So analyzing the four terms, notice how 28xy and 36x would have a common factor of 4x and negative 45 and negative 35y would have a common factor of five. So let's change the order of these terms and write this as 28xy and then plus 36x. So this will be the first half. And then the second half, let's put the y term first. So let's write minus 35y minus 45. And now we'll go back to step two and factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. So the greatest common factor from these first two terms would be 4x. So if we factor out 4x from 28xy, we're left with 7y. If we factor out 4x from 36x, we're left with positive nine, so we have plus nine. Now looking at the second half with the second two terms, notice how the greatest common factor is five, but if we factor out a positive five, the terms inside the parentheses would both be negative. And because we're trying to get a common binomial factor of seven y plus nine, let's factor out a negative five. So because we're going to factor out negative five, we'll write minus five times the quantity. We factor out negative five from negative 35 y, we're left with positive seven y. We factor out negative five from negative 45, we're left with positive nine. And therefore, inside the parentheses, we have the quantity seven y plus nine. Looking at these two products, we have a common binomial factor of seven y plus nine, which brings us to the last step in the technique of factor by grouping. Step three, we factor out the common polynomial factor, or in this case, the common binomial factor. So if we factor out the quantity seven y plus nine from these two products, notice how we're left with four x minus five. And now we have the given polynomial expression completely factored. So just remember, when you group the polynomial in halves, if the only common factor in the first half and second half is one, it doesn't mean the method will fail. We should consider rearranging the order of the terms in the given polynomial. I hope you found this helpful.